This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Hello, everyone. This is Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, coming to you live from CES. Folks, we are at one of my favorite booths, the Nikon booths. You know that I love Nikon cameras. I got a lot of money in Nikon cameras. I love Nikon. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Our CES coverage is also sponsored in part by GoDaddy.com. Get domain names, cloud hosting, and dedicated servers. All easy to manage and configure. GoDaddy has all your web needs. Visit tpn.tv forward slash GoDaddy for special CES offers. Hello, everyone. Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. I'm in heaven. I'm in the Nikon booth at CES. We got some incredible new products, and I am very fortunate to have our representative here to about it. Hi Don, I'm Steve Heiner. I'm a senior technical manager with Nikon and I want to thank you for being such an Nikon fan. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate that very much. I'm going to make sure I walk out of here with a brand new zoom macro lens. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm very excited about the new cameras. Uh, of course I have the older DLSR. I think I have the 7000 and I got the old 90, which I like both. Now, what we've done here, what you've done here, is we actually have some new connectivity. And uh, as the Gadget Professor fans know, that I've talked a lot about the iFi card. That's out of sight now. Check this out. This is, this is really cool, Don, because what we've actually done is we've incorporated connectivity into all of our both DSLRs and into our Nikon One cameras as well. Uh, we've actually got a, a small uh, Wi-Fi adapter, it's called the WU-1A and the WU-1B. Both of these adapters sell for about $59.95. It's a very small accessory that plugs into the side of the camera and then allows you to connect a DSLR like a brand new D5200 or a, a, a V2, a Nikon 1 Can I upgrade my older cameras like the D7000 and the D90 no, with that? unfortunately not. That circuitry has to be built into the camera. But what that allows you to do is actually connect to your smartphone or a tablet and you can transfer images directly onto a device that you're used to sh using uh, for sharing your pictures, which is really neat. Plus it gives you a remote control that allows you to see the live view feed from a distance. So if you're getting in your group shots or if you want to get away from your camera, you can see exactly what the camera is seeing on your phone and trigger the picture and retrieve it right directly to your device where you can then share it with everybody. That's almost a game changer when you think about it because, you know, everybody knows that you're, when you take the photographs now, they used to stay in your, on your little cart, you used to put them on your computer, but now everybody's sharing everything with Facebook, YouTube, so on and so forth. Now this is going to be built into the camera, plus you've got that Nikon quality. Well, the nice thing about this is that it's not actually in the camera, but it's a small accessory, right, accessory. that you can use on multiple cameras. So one accessory could be used on different cameras. That's the best part about that. And your latest release is? The D5200 we released on Monday. This is a brand new DSLR with 24.1 megapixel sensor, a DX format sensor, does five frames per second. It has the same autofocus system, a 39 uh, AF points as your D7000 of a much higher camera. So very, very capable. Plus it has this great uh, uh, LCD screen that flips out. Oh look, they've, they've, they've fastened it down on this model. That's so no one takes it. You gotta be careful with CES. Screen and you can actually then uh, hold it in high position, low position, really easy to see on that type of screen. Then we've got the V2, which was introduced late last year. Uh, this is our Nikon One camera at 14.2 megapixels. This also can use the adapter that will then connect it to your Wi-Fi device. And then <clears throat> we just introduced two new Nikon One cameras, the S1 camera. This is our new entry-level Nikon One camera and the J3 camera. These two can also be adapted to Wi-Fi so that you can get your images onto your smartphone and then share. So obviously we have the, uh, the great Nikon quality uh, amazing functionality and actually as he mentioned the, uh, the the ability to change your connectivity is just unplugging it and plugging it into your next camera so that gives you a lot of functionality and uh, we'll be right back with some pricing. Those of you that know me know that I've been using GoDaddy products for a long time. But some folks, when it comes to setting up a website, they get a little bit nervous. They don't exactly know how to do it. GoDaddy has a great product called Website Builder. This is a, a product for folks that are really looking to get up and running fast. The Website Builder comes with 300 templates, 5,000 royalty-free images. And what the best part is, is when you set up a Website Builder site, 
you get a free mobile site with it. It's mobile ready. So you really don't have to do the extra work to make sure that you're able to be seen on an iPad or an Android device. So that's the best part about Website Builder. And what's really even more exciting is we have a fantastic deal for you. You come over to tpn.tv forward slash GoDaddy. You can find information about Website Builder or you can click on the banner ad at tpn.tv and go over to GoDaddy and check out the product yourself. Of course, when you get to that checkout counter, don't forget to use the promo code W S T 50. That's the code. But if you click the banner, you'll get the code enabled right from the get go. Definitely check Website Builder out at GoDaddy.com. Okay, we're back at the Nikon booth, and uh, obviously the question in everybody's mind is, you know, what do these cost? Well, when we start over here at the D5200, this is $899 with an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, or can be had for $799.95 for the body only. These are our other two recent introductions. The brand new S1, which is our entry level camera, is available with a 10 to uh, an 11 to 27 and a half millimeter lens for $499, and the J3 with a 10 to 30 millimeter kit lens is available for $599. Great. Well, uh, you've seen it here at CES 2013. This is the Gadget Professor Don Bain. Stay tuned. This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here.